friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talk. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is part of the playlist called SQL Developer Tips, and you are now looking at SQL Developer. And here we'll be learning how to let SQL Developer automatically draw an ERD for us, an entity relationship diagram. Okay, so if you are not familiar with um, RDB, RDBMS concepts, relational database management system, then I suggest you go through the videos in my playlist in this same channel called um, SQL Tutorial Series, okay? So otherwise, if you're good, then we can proceed. So to do that, we will click on, we'll start by clicking on the video menu, I mean, view menu, and then you click on data modeler at the very top, then you go to browser. At that instant, uh, somewhere on your left bottom pane or uh, section of the window section, you will see browser, okay? So that's what we opened. And then what you do now is you expand the node called relational models, which is this one, expand that, okay? And then you right click on the item called relational one, right click on that and click on show. Okay, so it will show somewhere on your right side as a blank white sheet of paper, virtual paper that is. So now on your left side, in the connections uh, pane or window, you have a list of tables. Okay, I will just make this a bit bigger. Okay, so on your top left side, or window pane, uh, you have a list of tables. Okay, so let's just say um, the starting point is that you should it would be good if you already know which tables have an existing relationship, meaning which tables have a relationship in terms of our DBMS, like primary key, foreign key, okay? So in my case, I have already identified that these two tables at the very top, uh, the one called AQ dollar internet agent privs, privileges, and the other one called AQ dollar internet agents are indeed related to each other, related in terms of primary key, foreign key constraint, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I will do a drag drop of these tables from left to right, meaning to the white blank space here, which is called relational underscore one, or the file name is that. Okay, so I will start by dragging, drag dropping the first one. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let me just get do it again. I will drag drop this. No, 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 no. Okay. Drag here. Okay. So I have drag dropped the first table called uh, system is just the schema or the owner. Okay. System is the schema or owner of the object. But the actual table name is aq dollar underscore internet underscore agents. And the next I'll be drag dropping the next table, which I am sure is related to the first one. Okay, I'll drag drop it here maybe. Okay, so as you can see with this very simple action that I did, which is uh, just effortless almost, SQL Developer helped to create for us an ERD, no matter how simplified it is, because I only drag dropped two tables. If you will um, you're not constrained, it's not just to that. This can be uh, handling, but you can drag drop as many as you can, as long as they're uh, related to each other. It's detected by SQL developer in terms of the constraints between these tables, then the ERD will be drawn, will be automatically drawn for you. Okay, so now let's look at what we have before us. Um, the two tables are shown uh, in an ERD or entity relationship diagram, okay? So each one has this kind of structure. The one at the topmost is the table name. Again, I'm telling you the system is just the schema or just the object owner, okay? Meaning the table called AQ dollar internet agents is owned by the schema system, okay? So the first one, is the table name below that um, is a list of the table's column names. So in this case, the table called AQ dollar internet agents has three columns, agent name, protocol, spare one. Are we sure about that? Yes, if I click on this table here, a internet agents, 
If I click on that here, you can see that this table really has those three columns, okay? And then below that, so table name, second is a list of the list of the columns of the table. And at the very bottom is the constraint. If there are many multiple, then they will also be shown. Same thing, if you go to this table, you will see the constraints by clicking on the constraints tab, okay? So it's also shown here. Okay, so same thing. This is the second table I drag dropped from the left side to the right side, the white space, which is a relational object, okay? So the first one written or listed on the, this yellow table is the, again, the table name prefixed by the schema or the object owner, okay? System dot, and then there's the table name, aq dollar underscore internet underscore agent underscore proofs. Uh, beneath that, I mean, below that directly is the list of the its columns. So meaning this table only has two columns, agent name and db username. Again, if I click on that table from this connections um, window pane over here, it is indeed true, okay, agent pribs, I click on that, and you can see this table indeed has, no, I'll go to columns tab, tab. it has two columns only, agent name and DB username, okay, if I go back here, it has only two names, and then below the list of columns are the constraints of that table, okay. Now, what's the other thing that can, we can, uh, like a takeaway from this? Remember, this is called an ERD or ER diagram, um, or the full name is Entity Relationship Diagram. So each object here is, an, is called an entity. So we see that the, I have drag dropped two tables, so naturally it will show you those two tables. And since a relationship has been detected by Oracle, by SQL Developer, then it is showing that. Uh, how? With this line over here with an arrow, okay? So the line proves to you that indeed these two tables are related. So again, in the concept of our DBMS, when we talk of relationship, we talk about constraints, primary key constraint, and maybe foreign key constraints. So meaning, if you look at this line over here, it has an arrow head, and then it's some kind of a tail at the other end. The one at the arrow head, it's pointing at the this table, internet agents. The one, the arrow head is pointing at this, meaning the column, called in, I mean, agent name. If you look at the very bottom of this object, agent name, that's the column name. It has a column called agent name here in this table. So that is the primary key constraint of this table. Meaning when we say primary key, a primary key is defined on a column of a table, which is number one, mandatory, required. It has to have a value all the time. Second is it is used to make each record in that table unique. Okay, there's a primary key constraint. And they are related, meaning this same column called agent name also exists. And ideally in the same, in the same name, exactly the same name. So if you look at this table here called AQ dollar internet agent proofs, it also has a column name, as a, it also has a column called agent name. It's here, Varkar, 512 bytes, okay? So that is the thing that is being detected. There is a relationship because this column exists here, here and here. And again, if you look at the arrow head, it is pointing at the table where the primary key constraint is. And at the tail end of that line, not the arrow head, at the tail side, is where the column exists as a foreign key column or foreign key constraint. The other thing we can see is that the arrowhead and the tail, in other diagrams, it will not show an arrowhead. It will just show the line as a single uh, line with a single end and a multiple end on the other side. This is this denotes what we call in um, RDBMS terminologies as a one-to-many relationship, okay? You have one-to-one, one-to-many, many-to-one, but this is the usual um, uh, relationship, which is um, in a normal kind of data, one to many. What it means is one occurrence of this value 
of the value of the column called agent name can have multiple occurrences in the other table, in the one where the column is called an FK or foreign key. Okay, again, if I click on this, this is where the arrow head is. The column called agent name is a primary key column. See, if you look at the very bottom, it says AQ dollar internet agents underscore PK. So that's the name of the primary key constraint being defined on the column called agent name. Whereas on the other side, on the other table, the constraint related to this is uh, this one, second to the last. It's called agent must be created, okay? But it is defined on the column called agent name, okay? So that is uh, a simplified example of an ERD being drawn automatically by SQL developer by a simple action of drag dropping tables from your left hand side here to your right hand side. Okay, so in the real scenario, real world, um, in the business world, uh, there an ERD will be so much more complicated than this. So it will have so many tables here. And, but basic, at the very basic, you will see tables related to each other. Some, there will be isolated tables which are totally autonomous, uh, having no relationship with other tables. But in the most, for the most part, you will be seeing tables that have relationships such as this, okay? One to many, meaning from this side, it is the primary key on a column, or can be a primary key constraint can also be defined on multiple columns. It's a composite, composite kind of a constraint. But here it's a one to many. Okay, so uh, the point of the, the of this video is not really to go uh, take a deep dive into the constraints, the PK, the FK, the check constraint, the sys, uh, all other kinds of constraints, but really to show you the capability of the SQL developer to uh, render, to create for you an entity relationship diagram. Okay, so the next, what's the next step uh, after this? After this, if you wanted to export this ERD, then you can, and there are a couple of ways I'll show you one. Uh, if you want, you can also save this. You can click on this disket over here, file, save all. And um, if you wanted to export this maybe as a PDF file, then you can do something like file, and then you go to print, okay? And then here, you can, uh, under general tab, you, under name, you click, uh, you select Microsoft print to PDF, okay? And then you click on print. And then you uh, specify the path where you want the PDF file to be printed or generated and then you give it some name, okay? Uh, call it ERD1, okay, just for kicks, and then click on the save button, right? And then when I go to that location, sure enough, I have it there. So if I double click on this one, you see we've created it just now. If I will double click on that file, then voila, we have it here, okay? So SQL Developer helped us to do uh, a couple of things. One is at the very high level, it helped us to create an ERD, an entity relationship diagram by a simple action of drag dropping objects from left to right. And then second is it allowed us to export that ERD. Uh, remember, we're not constrained to just two objects. You can uh, have so many objects in here as long as um, they have a real relationship and they they will be shown nicely. The relationships will be detected by SQL developer. Okay, so they, it has been exported as a PDF. Okay, and I hope we've learned something new from this video. And if you haven't subscribed, I, think I suggest you click subscribe, click the bell. And I hope to see you in the next video.